Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Bible and homosexuality as it can be understood in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. First, I want to point out that we're still in Genesis, so there are no commandments. We aren't given any specific rules for what sin is. We only know two things. We can see from the story of Adam and Eve that we are meant to know, love, and obey God. Also, from Genesis 6:11, we hear in God's own words, the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. So obviously God has contempt for violence, and he's speaking here that violence is sin. Now, jumping straight into the story of Sodom and Gomorrah itself, I want to point out that usually we're told that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed because of what happened after the angels arrived there. However, God already made plans to destroy the city, and we see this in Genesis 18, 20, and 21, when God is talking with Abraham, and he says that he's heard a great cry come from the cities, that there's much wickedness going on there, and that he plans on destroying them. But that first, he's sending his angels to give kind of a final judgment on whether or not this is necessary. Now, Lot is Abraham's nephew, so of course this upsets Abraham because he knows that Lot is living in Sodom. So Lot uh, pleads with God for a while, and in 1832 they come to an agreement that if God can find just ten righteous men within the two cities, that he won't destroy them. Now I want to point out, Abraham has been talking with God. He recognized God as God was walking down the road towards him. He also recognized the two angels that were with God that later go to Sodom and Gomorrah. Those angels were also talking with Abraham. Now, if Abraham recognizes God because he has a, a relationship with God, it shows that he is a righteous man who knows, loves, and obeys God. Lot can also be seen as a righteous man because he also knows, loves, and obeys God. We can see from 19.1, And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. It makes sense that because Lot is Abraham's nephew, grew up with him, that he's also cultivated a relationship with God, and that as soon as he sees these men, he can recognize them as angels. I also want to point out that later in the story, when the angels um, give their message from God that the cities will be destroyed, Lot is not surprised, and he doesn't question them. So, from these two clues, we can see that Lot can see them as angels. We also know that the other men do not recognize them as angels. If they did, they wouldn't have acted the way that they did. They would not have behaved the way that they did. So we can already see that there isn't anyone else between the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah that can recognize God's angels because they don't know, love, and obey God, and therefore are not righteous. So we can see from this alone, the cities will most likely be destroyed. Now, if we look further and we read in 19.4 and 5, it says, Before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the men from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. So we can see that every man of the city, from the youngest to the oldest, is acting wickedly. And so, again, there are not even ten righteous men. So no one knows who God is. No one respects his kingdom. Now... Most people look at this part and they translate the word no to mean that the men of the city wanted to have sex with the angels. And this is where people point out, aha, this is homosexual behavior. This is why the cities were destroyed. This 
is what their sin was, homosexual sex. But to call what they wanted to do sex is a grievous understatement. What they wanted to do was rape the angels. To call rape sex is to overlook the very violent nature of rape. And we've already seen that God despises violence. He despises it as sin. So again, the men, simply because they are being violent, they are not righteous, they are sinners. Now you might say, ah, but Amen, what about 19.8, where Lot offers up his own daughters to the men instead? Why would the rape of his daughters be different? Because Lot knew that the two men in his home were angels. Wouldn't you do almost anything, make almost any sacrifice in order to protect God's angels, in order to protect God and his kingdom? Not only that, but they were women. Men at this point in history were valued exponentially greater than women. So it's not surprising at all to see two women being sacrificed for the sake of two men. So to say that the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah were homosexuality is a grievous understatement. It blatantly ignores the other facts of the story and it overlooks far too much. We're not talking about loving, consensual relationships between two people of the same sex, having loving, consensual intercourse. What we're talking about is a group of men from two cities having no knowledge or respect of God or his kingdom and committing violent acts towards other men especially. That is the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah and that is why they were destroyed. So I hope that you like this video. Until next time.